Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I come from the whiskey.com shop with the Seven Seals, the Age of Aries port finish. I actually never thought about what the word Aries in English was. Is that really a used word? Or is that like one of these old words like voracious? <laughs> I like the word vor voracious. I'm talking about voracious, I'm a little bit voracious. On whiskey yeah <laughs> I love to know that that what the word voracious is by the way anyway so um, we are talking about the seven seals age of Aries today and it's a port finish but as you know seven seals is a Swiss whiskey and is from uh, yeah a very influential entrepreneur inventor um, yeah I would call Robin inventor dr. Dolph Stockhausen and he actually invented, I think he was the guy from Pampers. <laughs> he invented the chemicals that babies have a dry behind. <laughs> and he is yeah, a, a brilliant chemist. And he invented the St Stockhausen method for aging whiskey. And it's about whiskey particles. But uh, he actually made it that it tastes really good. Although it's a traditional product and probably everybody out there has the opinion that yeah, I don't want to have any particles in my whiskey. I want to have, it's wood particles by the way anyway. So it's not anything bad. And uh, you want to have the age on my whiskey. So uh, age uh, can't be replaced by any process. Yeah, but um, you can say their stuff tastes really good, but it doesn't have an age on there. So tradition versus uh, new uh, methods. I haven't heard anybody else who produces after that method, so I guess the industry is very traditional. Yeah, and yeah. Today we're looking at the age of Aries and we have a lot of age of, I think I've already had two or three here on the channel. And now there is a sortiment on whiskey.com shop uh, for the Netherlands and it's the yeah, age of or the zodiac line that's what they call it zodiac line and yeah it's 12 oh yeah 12 12 zodiacs 12 12 bottles and you can get a little bit of everything it's 0.5 and it's 12 of them so uh, if you are really into zodiacs then have a look at that there and what I've I'm I'm really not that into zodiacs I don't think that it just stars don't where, where, under which star I've born uh, uh, doesn't affect my personality it's just not my thing to think, believe that um, but I'm, I'm really interested in, in in the history and the science behind that so um, what are zodiacs anyway so zodiacs from what I understand is uh, you've been born yeah you came out of your mother yeah and then the star sign that was on the top of the um, yeah, of the filament when, or the, the sky, when you've been born, uh, that defines what kind of person you are, what zodiac you have. And the problem is, uh, everybody knows the world turns and that makes day and night. And then you have the planet going around the sun and that makes a year and it makes the days shorter and longer. And yeah, the month uh, not together with the moon, but the moon also has a bit of a circle and all that kind of stuff. And but everything else stays absolutely still. No, um, our solar system, the, the sun and us as the planet Earth, uh, fly through the our galaxy, and probably galaxy flies somewhere else as well, and uh, through the galaxy, and that actually um, turns the galaxy, and uh, that makes ice ages and all that kind of stuff yeah um it, yeah the, the 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 movement through the galaxy has a lot to do with the temperature on our earth and yeah also co2 and uh, but ice ages are really where you move so since the zodiacs have been invented our our solar system has flying th flew, flown through the galaxy so the star has actually moved so um I've actually been born as a, I think, is it twins? Yeah, I don't know, maybe the old word for twins. And as um, and during the old days, I would have been, uh, what's it called, the, the one before, I don't know what it is. Uh, the, 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 the bull, yeah, I think the bull. And yeah, so 
actually what we have as zodiacs today is not what what we had as when the zodiacs were invented no. <laughs> a little bit of an anecdote there <laughs> my my two cents for zodiacs i don't know if that all reflects my personality i think maybe the uh what do you call it the the days during the year um when you've been born in in winter and summer that, that can maybe can affect a a person's a person's health i think summer kids are just a bit healthier than winter kids so just my two cents but can't prove that so it's uh, all of that what i've just said is just a, a dangerous um half knowledge what we call in germany <laughs> so anyway let's get into something that i do know about and that is whiskey ah, so um it's a, a non-age statement but it is has been matured pretty thoroughly through that process so it is very very strongly into apple so you have that you know these these very red uh flowery apples really don't like these guys because of the texture and uh, that's what it smells like i don't have a problem with the texture here yeah and it's a bit of a creamy chocolatey type and it's very very round and creamy i don't want to say it because it comes in over so negative but uh soapy a really well-made soap and i don't mean that negative i really mean that positive but that is kind of the reviewers or taste the slang for i don't like the whiskeys when it's oh it's soapy yeah no this is like a, a well-made soap not one of these perfumed soap but one of these classical well-made soaps where you really can smell all that is round and for, for me that is just roundness hmm 49.7 percent abv quite high and oh now now you realize port wine finish mm, yeah you can feel a bit more oh it still does have a lot of the bourbon cast tasted vanilla caramel apple comes through mm, uh, the apple might also be a little bit with the port wine finish but very round mm, very damp you have a lot of oak in there it's it's oak heavy you can't deny that with that process you do have more additive maturation although still i do love the process the process is one where i say dr dolph stockhausen he knows his stuff that process is good we had i think the americans had the cleveland with i'm not quite sure was that oxygen i think they had oxygen in it and over pressure and there have been other people with wood chips in it and yeah the staves from uh make a smart are pretty good as well um uh, but some of them have turning and twisting and everything in there but um he made it his process is uh is a good one it works it's not like an old whiskey but it's a good whiskey mm still untraditional mm. i like the whiskey sweet a lot of oak in it nice additive maturation very round well made um i like it but um do you like it do you think oh yeah well, i need my number except the seven seven seal <laughs> i need a, a real age number on my bottle or do you would you like a a, a more price um not not as pricey whiskey because you can produce it faster with a new process are you traditionals write it down in the comments below so yeah that was it with my take to the uh seven seals the age of aries portwood finish uh if you come from the netherlands have a look at whiskey.com in the shop and find the whiskey there thank you much for watching and see you next time